Hi. Um, I'm going to tell you about something that's a huge time suck for me as a mother of uh, five children. Um, having five children, that's a huge time suck, of course, naturally, duh. Um, also, Facebook. I should just turn the computer around right now and show you my computer, which is on Facebook, because that is a huge time suck for me. Um, but it also brings me great joy. That's not what I'm here to talk about, though. Something that is a huge time suck for me, um, and the reason why I find myself at the end of the day not having accomplished most of what I'd set out to do, um, it's just these little things that trip me up throughout the day. And um, Pablo had a teacher last year whom I adored, and she said something that really stuck with me one time. She said, it's not the big things <clears throat> in life that trip us up, it's the little pebbles. Because you can see the big things, you can see that big boulder there, and you can know how to maneuver around it. But it's the little pebble that trips you up that you don't see that's just going to, uh, you know, screw up your plans. And that's how it always goes for me. It's the little things that trip me up. Um, and a lot of times those things are just totally out of my control. And I just have to kind of figure out if it's something I can, you know, just deal with or if it's something I have to fix. So, um... This is one of those instances I just want to share with you real quick. I bought my son some underwear. My son Pablo, five years old, he has autism, and he requires um, a sense of order in his life. He requires that, you know, a little bit of routine, and he needs to have things the way he believes they should be, much like my husband, I might add. Um, and when things are uh, in a way that he thinks is not right, it's very upsetting for him. It causes him great distress. And sometimes it's something that seems to be totally ridiculous to me, but then I'm like, oh, well, of course that upsets him. Why didn't I, you know, why didn't I pick up on that? Duh. So um, here's a, a, a recent example of that. I bought my child um, some underwear. I was at Target and I bought him a package of boxer briefs, and here they are. Aren't they adorable? There's really just nothing cuter than little tiny pairs of boxer briefs. My husband wears these too, so I thought, you know, my, my boy would want to wear them. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to hold up this pair so you can see it better. Do you see what's on here? It's a tag. It says Fruit of the Loom. And it's on the front of the underwear. And instead of being right in the middle, it's off to the side. Now, this is something most kids would not really care about. However... To my son, this is absolutely unacceptable. Um, there's no reason a tag should be on the outside of underwear to begin with, especially off to the side. If you're going to put a tag there, it should be in the middle <laughs> because he likes things to have order and symmetry and that tag should be right in line with his belly button, not off to the side. So, I didn't even notice this. I wash them, I give them to my child to put on, and he immediately starts freaking out and trying to, like twist them around, actually I guess it would be this way, twist them around so that everything is lining up. But then when the tag is lining up, the underwear aren't lining up and it's, it's a hot mess. So, um, this, is, this is a great example of something that's just a huge time suck for me. Because this is like 25 minutes out of my day where we, I had to, you know, reassure my child, um, try to explain to him that it's just a tag, it's not a big deal, you know, once you get your pants on, you won't even notice it. Um, no, <laughs> this is not happening. Then we had to, you know, go find new underwear and all of that stuff. And these, you know, also, they, they just suck in general. They're put on really kind of half-assed. They're um, kind of ironed on. They're not sewn on, or I would just get my seam ripper out and take them off. But they're ironed on, and they're done so in such a way that this one has a big bubble right in the middle where it bloop, goes up here, and this one has the same thing kind of a little bit further down, but not as bad. It's just, you know, stupid. It was a stupid idea, Fruit of the Loom. Why did you have to do that? Do you think moms are going, ooh, these underwear have a little tag, a little fancy tag with a nice font on it that says Fruit of the Loom, and it's off to the side. They're like extra stylish boxer briefs. No. No mother cares about that sort of thing, and no five-year-old boy cares about this sort of thing, except my child. <laughs> And he doesn't like it. So um, that's a great example of one of the things that I deal with throughout my day that I just am completely unprepared for. And I know it's not just myself. I know every mother goes through things like this. All day long, there's things that, you know, you have to deal with. Um, it just seems like 
and probably just because of the logistics of having five children, I just deal with more of it. And because I have a child with autism, I deal with more of it. So if you're ever wondering why um, you're at my house um, going pee-pee in my bathroom and you see a little spot on the wall that was on the wall the last time you were here going pee-pee in my bathroom, it's because I've been dealing with underwear for 25 minutes today and I haven't had time to get the Clorox wipes out, okay? Um, I know I could spend less time on Facebook and I could probably spend less time making videos about underwear, but, um, you know, I just feel like it's something that I need to put out there. So, um, um, if you're dealing with these huge time sucks in your day, just realize that you are not alone and, um, it's just totally part of being a mom and that's how it goes. So, and if you are a maker of underwear, don't put the freaking tags off to the side. Put them in the middle, in the middle, okay? Thank you. Bye.